Wall Street Journal just released their top five dream kitchen upgrades that people end up regretting. So I'm gonna give you my personal opinion as a interior designer and custom home builder, and I'll let you know some alternative options there. So their first one is continent-sized kitchen island, and they specify this as islands anywhere from 15 to 18 feet, which personally, I do not see islands this big in the industry very often, if at all. I would assume that if they're this big, they're gonna be really hard to clean in the center and you'll have a lot of unused space and slabs typically do not come that big. So you are gonna pay a pretty penny for an island that size. My personal opinion, if you want a lot of counter space is to do a double island. We're still seeing those in the industry. They look really nice and you can utilize the full counter if it's split into two different sections. Next on their list is pot fillers. And the reasoning behind this is they're saying you're going to be be dumping the pot out in the sink anyway but I personally believe it saves you one trip and they can look really nice and classy they're saying on here that they cost around five thousand dollars as a custom home builder that is just not true if your builder is charging you in the thousands for a pot filler then you need to look a little bit closer at them because they cost anywhere from a hundred to four hundred dollars for your pot filler that you should be able to select and the added labor of that is not that much. They're already doing plumbing in the kitchen anyway. If you add that on early enough, it doesn't cost your builder that much. So I disagree with this one. I'm here for the pot fillers. Ran out of time, but I'm gonna post a part two right now. Stick around for the last one because it is wild.